how to stand out from the crowd and how to optimize your LinkedIn profile. But being personalized with your connection requests, you're more likely to be accepted than just hitting every single connection. Hey guys, welcome to Oxy Vlogs. On this channel, I talk about life, work and business in Dubai. And today we are filming our third episode with Trisha Chapman. She's consultant and she helps people to get a job in Dubai. And this video will be about how to stand out from the crowd and how to optimize your LinkedIn profile. So let's start. <laughs> Um, today it's so important to build a personal brand. It helps you to build connections, it helps you to get a job and uh, in general today is everything about personal brand. Doesn't matter, it's LinkedIn, Instagram, Facebook. So uh, what, what do you think about building a personal brand on LinkedIn and mm -hmm. how it can help you to get a job in Dubai? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a good question. So, Yes, I know we've been talking in our previous episodes all about cover letters and making sure that your CV is achievement based, but these alone, these days, will not get you a job alone. I mean, you need to do more than just that. So as you can imagine, and I'm sure that you've all seen, that on LinkedIn especially, um, and it gives you, it, it showcases you how many applicants there are, or there have been for the job before you're applying. Mm -hmm. So sometimes there's 800, maybe even 1,000 um, uh, applicants, especially for those on um, Apple, Amazon, Facebook, these types of roles, you're getting a huge number of applicants. So a one in an 800 chance, it's pretty rare. Now Dubai is a recruiter's market, and what that means is that um, you know when the job uh, when the job market is so saturated, recruiters have the ability to pick and choose who they want. Now it's really really important to be able to stand out from the crowd and position yourself as an industry expert or a generalist, whatever avenue you want to go down. So putting out a consistent message on LinkedIn of showcasing who you are and what you've done in the past and what you foresee in taking that brand or that company to the next level. So that's what personal branding is, a consistent message displaying who you are and what you value. Guys, before we continue, I want to say that if you've been looking for a job in Dubai but you have no success, you don't hear back from recruiters and you feel desperate, uh, Trisha can help you to get your dream job. Trisha, can you please introduce uh, your services and how you can help? Absolutely. So we offer an array of personalized services. We work one-to-one -one with all of our job seekers. We support them with LinkedIn optimization, cover letters, and of course, CV writing. Mm -hmm. And for those aspiring leaders or people with more than 15 years of experience, mm -hmm. we offer support with personal branding, personality assessments, and of course, interview coaching. And do you help uh, candidates to connect with recruiters? Absolutely. So we've got a dedicated UAE job, search, job seeking package. This, uh, it has a list of all of the available recruiters within the industry. There's over 50 listed in this package. And of course, um, cover letter writing and email pitches and CV writing templates. Oh, sounds great. Thank you very much. And how often do you need to post on LinkedIn and uh, share your opinion, maybe share valuable information? Yeah, so there's no hard and fast rule. There's no you know, guidelines that say you must do it once a week or, or every single day. And I think you need to work out what works best for you and when are your peak times with the maximum amount of engagement. And it also depends on how many followers you've already got. Um, and if you're really focused on those vanity metrics, and what I mean by that is you know, the number of likes or the number of comments, but it's all about consistency. So if I was a job seeker, I would be wanting to post three, maybe even four times a week with, with a consistent message of showcasing um, who I am on the, on the digital space. Your expertise. Yeah, your expertise, exactly. And why? People want to know the person behind the screen. So yes, it's great to showcase you know, who you are and, and what you do, but be a little bit personal as well. Let's say you found uh, that uh, you found out that some companies are hiring now. Do you advise to approach uh, recruiters directly or it's a bad idea? No, I do advise that and, and I, I advise it with my clients, but just be aware you might not be getting a response each and every time. So some tips and tricks you could do is try and comment on their own posts or their own um, articles that they might write 
consistently so that you get noticed. So for example, if I've got someone and I do have people, the same person, always commenting on what I post, mm -hmm. I start to notice them. Now it's just human nature, you know, you, you can you start attracting of, of your audience and, and knowing them. Mm -hmm. um, so that's one trick you can try and do. Don't just email them and say, I'm jobless, I need a job, help me. Because you'll more than likely not get a response. But also another maybe tips or tricks, if you allow me, um, uh, try to reach those people in the organization because quite often they can give you an internal referral. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, companies have internal schemes that allow uh, internal referrals. So then you've got more of a chance of not only applying on the job board, but, mm -hmm. but having someone within the company refer you. So yes, recruiters find it difficult to find talent, but in my humble opinion, it's because people are not showcasing on the digital space what they can do. So how can we find talent if people aren't showing it? Yeah, that's also true. Yeah. So this is why personal branding is great. You might think you're bragging about yourself, mm -hmm. but it's just showcasing what you're capable of doing, which makes it easier for recruiters to find you. And what do you advise, like, uh, many people keep their LinkedIn profile very short and brief. They just mention uh, their like history, their like work experience, but they don't mention their achievements. So, do you uh, advise to mention all the details, like in your CV, basically, mm. or keep it short? Mm. So, LinkedIn is like the umbrella. So, you, you don't want to be super duper fine tune every single little detail, mm -hmm. um, especially if you've got non disclosed information that you, you can't be showcasing about the company, you know, budgets handle, revenue increases. Mm -hmm. You need to be careful on that front. But on the other hand, there's a program that recruiters use called, or well, not all, but some may mm -hmm. use, called LinkedIn Talent. Now what this is, is it on, it's for on the other side to be able to find talent within the, mm -hmm. within the platform. So if you don't have a content rich profile, recruiters can't find you or get to know you and think and form an opinion about you. So having your responsibilities, maybe some generalized achievements or significant contributions that you made would be a way to be able to stand out from the crowd. And what do I do advise to write in your bio, you know, in this first line, just your position or uh, do advise to write like in my case, uh, let's say I'm a marketing uh, uh, manager or I'm a YouTuber, like what type of uh, information should I provide there? So at the end of the day, it's all about you. So we want to know a little bit about you, mm -hmm. where you've come from, explain your journey, and um, again, what are your, your career achievements in a snapshot, you know, where you have progressed, your core mm -hmm. skills. Um, you could even maybe give a little bit about you, you know, you're, you're a gym advocate or you're a health and fitness guru on the side. Mm -hmm. So a little bit about you um, from both a professional and a casual or personal standpoint. So there's no right or wrong. I mean, at the end of the day, that's what personal branding is. But I strongly recommend having it, you know, a content rich. So half a page um, or, or a quarter of a page summary. But that paragraph is considered as your keywords in the LinkedIn ATS. Yes. yes. Yep. Okay. So exactly. it helps you to rank higher. That's in right. The That's channels. right. Exactly. And LinkedIn is the highest ranking platform on Google. So if you type in your name, mm -hmm. usually your LinkedIn profile will actually come in the Google search. Mm -hmm. So you, these are the types of words that you want to include um, in the about section. And how do you advise to search for a job on LinkedIn? Is there any specific process that you recommend to follow? So it's got its inbuilt system. So on the search panel, mm -hmm. um, you can just literally type in the job that you want and the location that you're after. And most importantly is set the alerts. So you can set alerts to have them to your email, to just to your LinkedIn notifications or to both. You can have them on a daily, weekly or monthly basis. Mm -hmm. Uh, and there is a, a like an addition to LinkedIn, which is called Sales Navigator. <laughs> Do you advise it to use it for the job search process? Yes. Yeah. To be honest with you, it's more for those people who will be selling something. Mm -hmm. um, usually reserved for sales sales uh, people. Maybe you can find recruiters. Yeah, you <laughs> can. You can find recruiters. Absolutely. But I don't think. My humble opinion, I need to be careful, I guess, advising people, but it's probably not worth the, the amount on yeah, top that you have to pay. Yeah, it's not cheap, actually. 
actually. Yeah, it's quite expensive, especially when the basic LinkedIn can do the job. Um, but these days, you really have to think outside the square. Mm -hmm. So yeah, yeah. So you need to play around. <laughs> yeah, try or try. So if uh, I found a job that I like on LinkedIn, I applied for it. Do, do you advise to approach people who already been working in that company and uh, ask them for a photo? Yeah, yep, I do. So um, just don't expect a reply because I think people get hung up. You know, if some people are very inclined to help and and you know be part of the community and, and empower people, but others just it's like you know not another job seeker trying to help mm -hmm. me. So I think you need to be targeted. So you know, don't apply or don't reach to every single person. Mm -hmm. Choose your top four, top five companies and really focus in on those until you at least get some traction before you start going to apply to 50, 60 jobs every day. What is the best way to build connections on LinkedIn, connect with people and maybe they will help you to get the job as well? Mm -hmm. That's great. So on LinkedIn, you've got the ability to have followers and connections. Mm -hmm. Either one, either way that you choose, I think it's really important to be personalized. So don't just hit that connect or follow button. Send them a message, showcase that you are really interested in what they've done in the past. You could even submit a video CV there to say, you know, um, uh, hi, hi Trisha, I recently just read your article on job seeking in Dubai. Um, I really loved it. Please feel free to have a look at my own video CV and should you come across any available opportunities, I'd love to hear from you. Mm, so, <laughs> yeah. so you're linking a little bit, so it shows that you've done your research about who you're connecting with, mm -hmm. even if you haven't. Okay, mm -hmm. just <laughs> skim over um, and then let them know what, how you can help them in the past. But being personalised with your connection requests, you're more likely to be accepted than just hitting every single connection. Yeah, that's very valuable advice. Thank you very much. It was really interesting interview. And guys, if you want to reach out to Trisha, if you want to use your services, she can help you with creating perfect CV for you. She'll connect you with recruiters. She'll help you to prepare for an interview. There is a link in the description under this video. So check it out. And thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.